What's happening everyone? Welcome back to another new and exciting TV box review. These days, everyone is looking for an Android TV box that is Google certified to play premium subscription services in HD and 4K. Well, today's TV box can do just that and more. Presenting a new premium manufacturer and sponsor to this channel called Homatics. They specialize in premium certified Android streaming devices and accessories and has recently launched their premium Android TV box model called the Homatics Box R4K+. This box, aside from being fully Google certified, is one of the rare models that has a USB Type-C port in years since the launch of the Yondu Y8 back in 2017. So as usual, we look at its design and interface and I'll put it to the test to see if it has what it takes to be called a great Android TV box. So don't go anywhere, you have that right after this. Welcome back. So in the box you have your standard TV box contents consisting of the box itself. You get a Homatics Bluetooth remote with Google Assistance feature, one HDMI cable, a 5V 1.5A DC power adapter, and your user manual. So the body is mostly plastic, but it has a metal plate to the top that's actually a large aluminum heating connected to the CPU on the inside. So Homatics is the second manufacturer to adopt this new external cooling design. For input-output, it has one HDMI port, one Ethernet LAN port, one optical audio, one AV port, a USB Type-C port, and its DC power input jack to its rear. To its side, it has one USB 3.0, one USB 2.0, and a reset pinhole button. At the front, it has an LED power strip. And below the box has four anti-skid rubber feet, a USB Type-C O2G port, and no ventilation holes. So as mentioned, it's fully certified. So its operating system is Android TV OS. And when you start up for the first time, you have a Homatic startup animation followed by the pairing of the Bluetooth voice remote. Once completed, you have the Android TV OS startup wizard. During this process, once you are connected via Wi-Fi or LAN cable, it will scan and install any available firmware updates. Once completed, the box will restart and resume the first startup wizard. Then you have a list of apps to choose from that you would like to pre-installed. You'll then be given the option to pair the remote with your smart TV to control its volume and power. After all of this is done, you'll be taken to the launcher. So this is its Android TV OS launcher that we have all grown accustomed to and this firmware was built using the Android 11 TV OS SDK. Here is its updated firmware build information and below here it shows that it has a Netflix ESN license. Included in this firmware, you get 4K 2160p display up to 59.94Hz. You get HDR display, the option to totally disable HDR and it has an auto HDR feature. This means it's compatible with both HDR and non-HDR TVs. It has zoom settings that you can adjust to fit the frame of your display in the event that it overlaps. It has HDMI CC options and it works to shut down and start up your TV together with the box. For audio, it has a dialog enhancer and you have surround sound audio options to auto detect, disable or to allow audio pass through. And it has an app key definition feature. This is where you can set any installed app as a shortcut using the shortcut button on the remote. The included remote has a built-in microphone to work with the Google Assistance feature. It has a button to quickly access the settings area. You have your standard home and back buttons and volume controls. It has a dedicated YouTube, Netflix, Prime Video and a custom shortcuts button. This remote works via Bluetooth and the Google Assistant feature works flawlessly. How many megahertz equals 2 gigahertz? 2 gigahertz is 2000 megahertz. Before I feature its streaming capabilities, let's take a quick look at its system and hardware information. 
The manufacturer of this mainboard is SEI Robotics and it's an Amlogic chipset with 4GB of DDR4 RAM and 32GB of internal storage. Its Bluetooth version is 5.0. Its CPU, which is the Amlogic S905X4, is a quad-core Cortex A55 CPU clocked at 2.0 GHz configured in 32-bit mode, which means it can only run 32-bit apps and games. Its display is powered by the Mali G31 GPU with OpenGL version 3.2, which is good for gaming. It has dual-band 2.4 plus 5 GHz Wi-Fi. Its operating system is Android 11 and it's not rooted. Under Devices, it shows that its GPU has Vulkan ABI version 1.1 support, which is also good for gaming. Under Temperature, they have disabled the temperature sensor. And in the codec section, you have a long list of decoders, including all the decoders needed for the playback of 4K HDR videos, AV1 videos, and videos with Dolby Vision formats. You also have decoders for surround sound audio, such as Dolby Atmos EEC3 and DTS HD, so it's equipped to connect to your surround sound audio system. And that's its system and hardware information. So we have already established that it has a Netflix ESN certification and to attain such a license, this box has to be certified with the required level of HDMI encryption to protect paid subscription services from piracy. Here its DRM information shows that it has Google Widevine Level 1 with HDCP 2.3 protection which is indeed the required level. Another requirement for the certification is no root access to prevent harmful third-party apps from accessing its core root file system which can compromise its security. Here the root checker app shows that it's not rooted. And with all these requirements, this box is fully equipped to play every premium streaming movie service in HD and 4K with surround sound audio. Here I'm running the official version of Netflix and you have 4K HDR display with Dolby Atmos. Also in Amazon Prime Video, you get 4K UHD display with Dolby Atmos. For watching YouTube videos, you get 4K 2160p resolution with HDR. For screen mirroring, the box comes with built-in Chromecast and Google Assistant feature. So on your mobile device, you can choose to install the Google Smart Home app or you can use another screencasting app to mirror your device. Here I'm using the Google Smart Home app to mirror my Android cell phone. Also you can use the official Chromecast feature built into apps such as Netflix and YouTube. So I'll now play my list of 4K HDR videos and I'm testing for smoothness of playback and for the HDR and the HLG HDR feature activating on my TV. There is also one video with AV1 formatting in this list. Only a win for Barca would be enough because it would give them the same number of points as Atletico, but the head-to-head -head goal difference. So from this test, it plays all my 4K videos smoothly, even the AV1 video. And even though you could not see it through my capture card, the HDR and the HLG HDR feature was triggered on my TV during the playback. I'll now test its surround sound audio capabilities.
This is Dolby Atmos, the world's first object-based cinematic audio. Full moving audio that transcends from channels to moving around you with pinpoint accuracy. This is the left channel. Next, we have the center channel. Over here is the right channel. From this test shows that the box can output Dolby Atmos, Dolby Digital Plus, DTS Audio, Dolby Surround and the Dolby True HD. It did not output DTS HD Master Audio and the DTS X. I also found it difficult to find a single media player that plays all the formats as one media player will play some and another player will play the others. So I connected my gamepad via Bluetooth and the connection is stable. And here I'm using it to play an Android game with graphics set to high. If I set it to maximum, it starts to throttle a bit. So its graphics rendering is really good with its APU clocked at 2.0 GHz. With OpenGL 3.2 plus Vulkan support, it really does a good job at 3D gaming. However, they have disabled the temperature sensor, so I had to take a surface reading to detect for overheating, and the thermometer read 37 degrees Celsius, which is not hot to the touch. And to close off this review, let's take a look at its benchmarks and where it places on the ranking shot. First, it's RAM copy speed and it's internal storage read and write speeds. It has a RAM copy speed of 3515 megabytes per second. Its internal storage has a read speed of 69 megabytes per second and a write speed of 61 megabytes per second. Next, it's Wi-Fi and Ethernet LAN speeds. Based on my network speed of 154 megabits per second, it's 5 GHz band and the LAN port achieved maximum speed of my network. The 2.4 GHz band achieved 31%. This test also proves that the LAN port is a gigabit LAN port. Next, to test its Amlogic S905X4 CPU during single-core and multi-core activities, the Geekbench 5 CPU benchmark registered a score of 148 single-core and 462 multi-core. To test the graphics rendering capability of its Mali G31 GPU with Vulkan support, in the 3D Mark graphics benchmark, it qualified for the Wild Life test with Vulkan support and the Slingshot Extreme test. And it registered a score of 189 in the Wild Life test and 377 in the Slingshot Extreme test. And in the Antutu benchmark, it scored 105,241. And that's the last of the benchmarks. Let's now see where it places on my rankings chart. 
So I've entered the scores on my chart and the new home Xbox R4K is at position 23 based on its Antutu benchmark score which is not a bad position at all and it received a 4 out of 5 star rating and not 5 based on some of the cons identified in this video. You can view this chart on my blog where you can maximize it and compare various benchmark scores and features to other models I've reviewed. I also provide coupon links and price comparison using these links right here and you can also get a link to its video right here. To view this chart, see the link in the description below this video. So in summary, the Box R4K is a fully certified Android 11 TV box that has all of the DRM requirements to stream paid subscription services in HD and 4K with surround sound audio such as Dolby Atmos and it has Netflix ESN certification. The box is not cheaply built and it has a cool attractive design with its heatsink attached to an aluminum plate to the top for adequate cooling. It has good performance benchmarks and its Bluetooth voice remote works great with handy shortcuts and Google Assistant's feature. There are two faults that I discovered during my review and the first is that out of all the surround sound audio formats, it cannot output DTS HD Master Audio and DTS X. And the second fault is that the included USB Type-C ports don't read any of my pen drives or SSD enclosures, all it does is provide power for charging. So friends, that about sums up this review. The selling point of this box is that it's a fully Google certified model built on a quality hardware with an attractive design delivering the same features as top brand names in the industry. So if you would like to get your hands on this model, currently it's only being sold on their Homatics website for just $149.99 which in my opinion is a good price for this high quality model taking into account you have Google and a Netflix certification. So if you are interested, see the link in the description below this video. Links in the description are affiliate links, so using them to purchase also provides monetary support to this channel. So if you enjoyed this video or found that the information contained was of value, then give it a thumbs up to show some support. If this is the first time viewing one of my videos, then don't forget before leaving to click that subscribe button and ring the notifications bell to keep in the loop as to when I release new videos or decide to do a giveaway. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.